Shin muscular dystrophy is a muscular dystrophy that affects only boys. They are born already with a mutation that we determine that they are losing muscle because there is not a protein in their muscle. It's very important, it's called dystrophy. And because of the absence of dystrophin, they lose their muscle and when they are around 10 to 12 years old, they are confined to a wheelchair. So our aim, our hope was that if we could inject stem cells in these patients, uh, if they would improve the, the, the clinical outcome. And what we observed is that when we injected different cells, the only one that had an effect, a clinical effect, was the one that were uh, obtained from adipose tissue and the animals lived about 30% more when they were injected with these cells. We were very happy with this result. We want to replicate this and if this is confirmed, this could maybe be a first treatment for, for patients. Why I got into sitting in a for disorder? It's a funny story because uh, here we have a program that when you start college, in the first year of college, you can already be involved in, uh, in research. Uh, so I have a wonderful advisor who he died two years ago, who was Oswaldo Frata Pessoa, who had already program genetic counseling, and I, and I attended patients with him. And there was a lady whose sister had three boys with Duchenne dystrophy and she was getting married and she was very concerned about the possibility to have affected children also because she had twin uh, nephews affected and nobody was working on that in Brazil. So I got interested in that uh, and I said well let's see what we can do about it. and I started going to the lab and that's how it started. I wanted to know what happened with all the families I had studied, I had counseled. Some of them had a high risk of having other affected children, others not. And I went to visit them in their house. And I had two surprises. The very good surprise was to see that family that had, where well, we had told them, you have a high risk of having another affected child. The great majority didn't have children anymore. But on the other hand, I had a very bad surprise to see how abandoned were the children that were already born. So they didn't, they didn't have any association to help them, they didn't have wheelchair, they didn't have physiotherapy, absolutely nothing. So I founded the Brazilian Muscular Dystrophy Association. I said, well, I cannot be just a scientist, I have to do something more for them. And I started to raise money for them, and then we rented a house, and uh, we started to bring children to the center uh, to do physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, everything to, to help them to, to improve the quality of life. So uh, we have seen here probably 100,000 patients so far. It's the largest center for, for genetic disorders in Latin America. First, we tried to diagnose patients with different genetic disorders. We identified many different genes, and the next step is when you identify a gene, you want to know what this gene does, why it causes a, a genetic disorder. And also, we have a lot of genetic counseling, so it's a two-way road, the patients helping with new research and the new research helping patients. Mm -hmm.